This exercise is kind of fun. So what you do is you create a 90 degree angle, or at least close to one, it doesn't matter. And this is gonna be a fanning exercise. So you begin from the corner and you just start to fan out. This is gonna help you with a lot of stuff and everything from box drawing to linear perspective. And then you wanna be sure to go the other direction and just fan out. You can fill in in between whatever you need to do. You also want to be able to go at any angle that you need. So practice all four directions. Again, always just going from the center. And you try to keep the fans even as best you can. If you need to turn the paper, turn the paper. Now, one of the trickier fans, and you can do interesting things with that, I'm, I call it the progressive fan. So what you do is you start out with your 90 degree angle, and then you start narrow, and you get larger as you come, as you come down. Narrow, narrow, larger, 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 and so on. So you narrow it out. That wasn't a great one. Let me try again. Try this direction. So we'll go narrow, Larger, 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 larger. So you get kind of this feel that the fan is progressing as it comes down. This exercise is a dual fanning exercise. What you're gonna do is create a long bar with two 90 degree angles, and then you're gonna fan all the way up relatively evenly And then you're going to do that in both directions. And this is kind of a linear perspective exercise as if this is the horizon line and you're drawing a grid on the ceiling or something like that. Another one that you can do and this one's getting to be a little bit more hand-eye coordination oriented. Draw a line and you make a couple of tick marks. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw right triangles. So you have to envision and imagine this right angle at each one of these points. Another fun one is a little variation on the dual fan. So what you do is you first do your 90 degree angle exercise, right? Make sure that's 90 degrees. And then you can do your dual fanning from there. There's a reason for that, which I'll go into in linear perspective. 